Introduction to the Rital Liquid Cooling Package, also known as the LCP. The LCP consists of three high-performance water-air heat exchangers, three fan module pairs, and an environmental control system to manage and report the operation of the unit. These parts give the LCP the ability to cool up to 20 kilowatts of installed IT load while maintaining precise control of the cold air temperature being delivered to the servers. Installation of required infrastructure. Power feed requirements for the LCP. Typically, the LCP is hardwired to a 208, 230 volt electrical source by an on-site electrician. Installation of standard power connections are completed normally in the field. Water connection requirements for the LCP. Chilled water. Chilled water from a central chilled water plant is fed into each unit through the bottom or rear chilled water connections. Condensate lines. Condensate from the unit is pumped out of the system through the drain lines or can be configured to pump back into the chilled water return lines if required. Removing a water-air heat exchanger and fan system. Removal of water-air heat exchanger. Removal of the air-to-water heat exchanger requires the user to first disconnect the supply side water lines on the heat exchanger and then disconnect the return side. Next, the condensate lines are disconnected from the system. Finally, the temperature probe is disconnected and then the two screws holding the hex in place are removed. Then the entire heat exchanger is removed from the front of the unit. Removal of the fan system. Removal of the fans is accomplished by first disconnecting power from the fan modules, then disconnecting the communications cable. Removal of the four screws holding the fans in place will allow complete removal of the fan pair. Removing the water tray assembly. Removal of transportation screws. Four transportation screws hold the bottom tray in place. These are marked and should be removed before installation of any IT equipment is completed. These screws are marked by a red label for your attention. Removal of bottom air to water heat exchanger. Remove the bottom air to water heat exchanger as in the previous steps. Note that you will be required to disconnect the top two modules to gain access to the bottom module. Remember to remove the supply side connector first, then the returns. Removal of bottom cover. Remove the rear wall of the LCP and then remove the air controller module from its tray on the bottom cover. Remove the tray retaining screws and push the tray forward. Have another assistant help lift the tray up when it is completely forward. Removal of water module. First disconnect the chilled water lines from the LCB tray. Make sure to shut off any supply and return lines. Now remove the two retaining screws and remove the tray from the unit. Installation is simply the reverse of these procedures. Flow meter servicing. Remove the insulation surrounding the flow meter. Unscrew the flow meter unions. Remove the flow meter from the pipework. Installation of the flow meter is simply the reverse of this procedure. Make sure to glue any insulation back together where it has been removed. Control valve body servicing. Remove the insulation surrounding the control valve. Remove the retaining hex nuts. Remove spring and diaphragm. Replace spring and diaphragm with new parts. Reattach all insulation and re-glue insulation in place. Condensate pump servicing. Remove the tray screws that hold the condensate pump. Remove small blue hoses that are attached to the condensate pump. The hoses are removed by pulling the black ring forward into the body and pulling the hose out at the same time. Replace condensate pump assembly with new condensate pump. Installation is the reverse procedure.